Good morning, people. Today is the 19th of the 5th, and this is part 23 of my Shafts and Story. And um, in this part, I wanted to, because I posted that video on the crocodile tour in, I think, I think it was part uh, 21. And um, so I wanted to tell some uh, stories I have about the, the crocodiles and the black river. And um, the first one was quite a, a funny story. Discovery Channel contacted me uh, for some reason, I don't know. Uh, and they needed a pirate. Um, so I guess they contacted the right person. <laughs> and um, so me and some of my guests who had volunteered to do that, we went, we were disguised as pirates and um, we were paddling with these little boats on the Black River. And um, the film crew came around and filmed us and we were doing our thing and then they went off to do some filming for themselves and a couple of tour boats passed by and and every time a tour boat came up and they were kind of surprised you know seeing us as pirates of the I pulled up I jumped up and pulled up my musket and um, said life or oh, Money or life, <laughs> and, um, and they were like, <laughs> and um, anyway, for, for uh, months later, I heard after, or I got to know, got to understand that the tour, all the tour operators, all said, "Oh, the other day we were attacked by pirates on the Black River," and so, on. so anyway, that was that little story. And then another story is that we used to drive up with a friend from here. And we went along the coast and then up in, up to the Black River. And he had a fairly big boat. And we always stopped at this one little spot where there was a little sidearm going off. And and had, that was our swimming spot. And we always jumped in there and had a swim and so on. And, um, and later, when I got my little speedboat, I could go into that sidearm and literally uh, 30 yards away from where we always swam, I just in that little side, I'm just 30 yards in there, there was a spot where like like five, six crocodiles would just hang out and, and chill out there, you know. So we were swimming like literally 40 yards might be away from these crocodiles. So anyway, um, the last story is quite a, kind of quite dramatic. Um, uh, it involves this this guy who was doing tours for me. This American guy, he was um, fascinated by by caves, and he used to explore caves. And um, he sort of uh, got my guest interested in caves and so we did several tours oh, he did several tours i was so busy at the time i couldn't um go with him i was glad that i had somebody to do tours for me and um so he would go to these caves and on the way back from one of these tours they stopped in black river and uh chilled out there by this spot where the boats take off and there was a little putty shop there and they bought some putties and one of my guests ate his putty and then he um he threw it into the water uh, and um and literally a minute later this gigantic crocodile jumped out of the water right next to him and grabbed this lady who was sitting on the side of the um river fishing grabbed the lady and pulled her in and killed her right in front of everybody and everybody was like shell shocked you know and man I changed so much in Black River because before the kids would be jumping off the bridge and swimming right there on that spot you know people never can perceive the crocodiles as any danger and uh, after that you know people were much more cautious uh, and I mean, 
I too, I mean, I, I kind of stopped swimming in the Black River. Um, yeah, so um, that was that. Uh, and when he came back here, he, he said to me, he said, Frank, man, gosh, I feel like it was because of that patty, you know, um, that I threw in there. And of course, I like, no, you know. Don't, I'm sure it has nothing to do with that and so on. But I silently thought to myself, well, what do you, what do I know what the crocodile thought? You know, he thought, well, this tastes a lot better than um, the the raw garlic and the raw fish that we normally get, you know, we normally have. Um, let's see if there's more out there, you know, I don't know. It's like, what was it? Um, mystery to this day and um so that was that. Sorry, I was felt really sorry for the guy because he just, you know, he was um, he was really shocked. I mean, you know, having somebody pulled off off the banking um, like a yard next to you, uh, and then can be having her and she got killed by this crocodile. I mean, they they killed that crocodile then, you know, afterwards. Um, but but still, it was gruesome it was terrible anyway so that was the story for today and some more really interesting stories coming up so stay tuned and please like and subscribe that would be fantastic and if you have a little donation paypal at coolestcamp.gmail.com just to fill my gap at the moment and feed my dogs and cats and so on um, would be great thank you bye bye Thank you.